<laughs> Here in front of me, I have a stock E46 clutch pedal. This is all reliable. These things can last you 200, 300, 400,000 miles, but eventually, if you like driving and having fun, this thing will snap. So, we here at Garagistic made our own solution and came up with the Billet Aluminum Clutch Pedal. This thing will never break on you. I can guarantee that. There's a lot of reasons why you should have this thing in here, and today we're gonna show you how to install it, and also, kind of the upgrades that you're gonna be seeing. So, let's get to it. So this is our stock E46 assembly. As you can see here, it's just our stock pedal. Uh, and we have the assembly out of the car, obviously. You only need a couple basic hand tools and you should probably do this inside the car. Uh, we're just doing this outside the car for demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, that's a part of our assembly. You can see here, we have our clutch master cylinder here. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect our clutch master cylinder. Get this guy's unbolted. You'll remove these 10 millimeters and this will hang. The most important thing that you need to make sure of is that this hard line, you don't bend it too much. This goes up into your brake reservoir and you don't want to bend this because if you bend this, you could have a kink of the line. Next thing you know, clutch pedal doesn't work at all. And now you're going to disconnect your master cylinder here from the pedal. You take a pair of needle nose pliers, clamp this guy down. Just kind of push it through gracefully. From there, you should be able to remove your clutch master cylinder. In this case, we'll throw this guy to the side. Now we have our lovely clip right up here up top. This clip is kind of funky. Uh, it goes on one direction. Uh, as you can see, there's like a groove here that this thing goes in. You're gonna have to lift up this tab and just pull the clip right off. And then from there, voila. Take your pedal with you. Make sure you don't leave any bushings behind. Old plastic bushings. Cool, so now you're gonna have your bracket here assembly all ready to go. Perfect. Okay, so a couple comparisons that you can make right off the bat, there's a lot of upgrades going on from here to there. First things first, you can kind of already see these bushings here kind of break, which cause excessive play over the long periods of time of you owning your car. And it's not just one, both of them kind of get kind of funky. Over time, you'll keep kicking this thing in order to snap. So that's something that you really don't want. And in that case, if you're doing any hard driving, you're gonna want to upgrade to this bad boy the aluminum clutch pedal. Made from a couple of different pieces of CNC machining, you can see that it comes included with our bronze pedal kit, so there's no need to really upgrade to our bronze pedal kit. And you'll assemble this with all of our set screws relatively simply, and literally, it just bolts right in. This will provide almost a no play kind of situation. It takes away all the play and it feels amazing inside the car. You can take it from everyone here at the shop firsthand who's kicked this pedal. It's like night and day. So let's go ahead and take this thing and slap it right onto our pedal assembly. So the first step in this process actually includes taking apart from our old clutch pedal and putting it onto our new clutch pedal. There's this bushing here. Right here, you're gonna take this guy off, this grommet, and put it right here inside the new pedal. So first we get started by doing that. Man hands. You can see that sometimes these things are old and kind of brittle and beat up, so it'd be a good idea to be very careful with these. Maybe add some WD-40 when you're removing this from the old pedal. So now that this is kind of nice and ready to go into here, we'll go ahead and push her right in. Uh, one of the big differences that you can see here is the actual master cylinder here. This plastic piece is what connects it to the master cylinder. Over time, this can kind of walk away and wear, and you can see, like, over time, it's good amount of movement. So what we'll actually do is when you unscrew the bolt from the clutch pedal itself, you'll insert this metal sleeve, which as you can see, has a lot less play. And then when we go ahead and we bolt this up to the clutch pedal, it's supposed to go right through. So another big plus on why you should upgrade. Now, back to the install. So with step one squared away, we can go ahead and take our clutch pedal, put it in the assembly. We'll slide it right, all, right over here. From there, you'll take your clip, slide it right on over. From there, you'll remove this screw and the insert that comes inside of it. So with our insert inside of our master cylinder, we're gonna go ahead and kind of ease this guy back into our clutch pedal. And from there, we'll take our shoulder bolt, align everything, boom. Give it a nice walk down. Take your hex key, 
lock it in. From there, we'll go ahead, try using the pedal to adjust position for your 10 millimeter screws. Obviously, you'll tighten this down with a 10 millimeter. And boom, there you go. We have a fully operational billet aluminum clutch pedal. Look at that. If you have any concerns, if you're driving hard, this is a perfect upgrade for you. I can't put into words how great this product feels under your left foot, but I never thought I'd enjoy kicking a clutch so much. So, I highly recommend that you head over to garagistic.com and go ahead and get yourself a billet aluminum clutch pedal as soon as you possibly can. If you need anything else, we'll be here. Thanks.